Hello everyone, it's Bibi Cameron here. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be making a couple of fun cards using some of the new supplies by Neat and Tangle. And I'm also going to be using Origami Map from a previous release. I'm going to start making this super easy card here. And at this stage, all I'm going to need is a ruler and alcohol markers. You know, the ruler has a very flat side that goes right against the paper but if you turn it around you will have a gap between the ruler and the paper and this is how i need to place the ruler on the paper to be able to start tracing lines with the alcohol markers this might be a very very silly tip but it's super important because if you apply the ink over the edge of the ruler when you move the ruler to trace the next line you are going to drag that ink on the edge and you are going to get some stains with that color over the paper so that's the biggest tip you need to know to do this and i'm also using the grid in the glass mat to guide myself and to trace a straight lines I have a previous video also using this same idea and I'm going to link it in the video description. These markers here are Nuvo Creative Pens and they blend together. So I'm trying to avoid to go over the ink on the glass mat with another color because then if I do that, I will get also ink blending and the colors are not going to be so well defined. Please notice that I'm also using the broad tip of these markers and that made the work even easier. You can use any other marker as well. Doesn't have to be these ones. You can use your copy markers, any marker you have handy. So here you will see how this uh, marker just got a, a little bit of the ink at the edge of the ruler and it's tracing kind of an orangey edge there. So I'm going to clean the marker like so and I can keep going. I also like to use this stamp cleaner solution to clean the glass mat, but you can also use rubbing alcohol or you can just place a paper underneath the cardstock. Something super important is this is Bristol cardstock. So it also absorbs the ink really nice. And here is an idea I have. I'm going to be showing you this later. But as I was playing with the same colors, I just wanted to see how that looks over the paper and show you as well. For now, I'm going to use this die here called Origami Map Die by Knit and Tangle and I'm going to die cut this panel. And here you can use the positive and the negative image to make two different cards, but today I want to focus in this one here. So now I'm going to grab a piece of craft foam and I'm going to die cut this as well because I want to add this craft foam behind the map to give it a little bit of dimension and now I'm going to glue this craft foam to the back of the image and now I'm going to use this die here to die cut the sentiment for the card and here I'm also using Bristol board paper this is different than a smooth Bristol paper by Stratmore uh, this is thinner and it's great for pencil colors and also for alcohol markers. It has this paper is very thin. I will say that this is not great for watercolor, but to be honest, I haven't tried it. It could really nice and it's ultra white. So now what I'm going to do is to apply some markers on this could as well, just like that. So there you go, these are the two main features of this card. I'm also going to be stamping a banner and I'm going to be using here just a scrap piece of paper and black Simon Says stamp ink. Once I have my banner stamped, I just cut it and all I have to do to finish this card is to glue all the pieces together. So it takes longer to explain what kind of materials I'm using to make this card and also tips than actually making the card. This is a super 
quick and easy project and you can even mass produce this card as it's so simple. So I'm going to play some music here and you can see how I finish this card. Okay, so I have another idea for you today using some of the products from the last release by Knit and Tangle. I'm going to use this paper here, which is very cool for die cutting and it has a little bit of texture. So I'm just going to die cut uh, the panel using the Tangerine die cutting machine by Tonic Studios. You will see me working always with different die cutting machines and I found that different die cutting machines provide different results. In this case, this die cutting machine is just amazing to work with intricate dies. You just need to run the paper through the machine once and you will have a perfect and sharp die cut. So I'm just checking all those pieces from the die cut like so and I'm going to use parts of this die cut panel. So let me show you here this shape. It's an hexagon. So you have six sides here and it reminds me to those kites that my father used to make or handmade for me in August. In my country, Colombia, we don't have seasons, but in August, we have strong winds. And it's a tradition there that you make a handmade kite and you go to the park and it's so exciting to, to make that kite fly. So, well, you can get three kites from one panel and I have this idea to put behind this uh, a piece of acetate because you can color the acetate using also alcohol markers and it will look like cellophane. I mean, so you can make kite like this one. It looks like a handmade kite actually and um, you can embellish it in different ways. You can also die cut the panel in different cast of colors to make something a little bit different. Point, I also thought that it was a good idea to make a, a kind of checker and what I did was trying to put some confetti uh, in the kite like that and then glue on top another kite or another piece with acetate as well. I think this will be a fun embellishment for a woody bag, for a box or even for a cake topper or a cupcake. But I wasn't sure if I could use this one for a car today. And then I start thinking how to make it work. So I decided also to use this image from Paint Night Stamp Set by Knit and Tangle. The girl is holding a brush, but I definitely can use this image uh, to make it work with my design. And I'm going to cut the brush so that the girl is going to look like if she was holding the kite. So that's also another way to stretch the use of your stamps. And adding colors with the alcohol markers because I want to use the same media to add color to the whole pieces in the card, to the background, to any embellishment, and also to the images. So at this point, I was still thinking if this could work or not. And I have to be super honest, and I really didn't like the look and feel of the kite with the acetate behind. 
So what I did uh, was trying to to create a more harmonic composition uh, using softer colors. And I stamped this background here, but when I place the images on this background, uh, I still feel that it wasn't the look and feel I wanted. So I changed the kite completely. I still wanted to show you this idea because that's the way the idea was born and it was taking a better shape from mistakes, from trying and from experimenting. And then I just uh, decided to die to the panel, but this time I'm using a sticky fabric chin underneath the paper. I have uh, talked about this fabric chin in my previous videos and I'm using it a lot. So if you want to have a look, you can see also other videos uh, here in the Knit and Tangle channel and also in my YouTube channel about the fabric chimp for die cutting. So I just add color to those triangular pieces with markers and the fabric chimp is going to help me to keep all these pieces in place so that I can easily paper piece this kite. So this is the result, this is the card finish. When I was editing the video, I noticed that I missed the part in which I was putting all the little pieces together, but that was really easy. Instead, acetate, I glue a piece of white cardstock behind the kite shape, and then I start placing all those uh, little triangles in the right position, and that's how I finished that card. So these are the two cards for today. I hope you like them. I hope you like the video, the ideas, and the beautiful supplies I have used today. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel or visit the blog for more inspiration. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.